Um, deliverance could also deal with afflicting spirits, which are spirits specifically that deal with um, physical maladies and infirmities. And demons don't leave on their own. They must be driven out. So inner healing or the healing of memories, all of these things, sozo, deals with soul wounds, again, whether in the emotions or the memory. When evil spirits are entrenched and don't leave readily, we might utilize inner healing or healing of memories or sozo as a means of undermining them, of kind of digging the foundations out from underneath them. Jesus addresses this kind of in an oblique way in the 24th chapter of Matthew, verse 28, and also in Luke 17, 37, when he said, where there is a dead body, there the vultures will gather. So what is a dead body? Well, we tend to call that flesh. And so when people have wounds in their memories, when they have wounds in their, uh, in their, in their emotions, um, all of this is fallen flesh. And this, the Greek word there is sarx, S-A-R-X. It's actually a chi in Greek, but for what we're doing, X is close enough. So the Greek word is sarx. And when we talk about sarx, we don't always mean physical, like the meat on your bones. We might mean the carnal, fleshly, fallen nature of a human being on the inside. Things like anger or lust, things like drunkenness or lying or you know, things of this nature that Paul describes in his letters. So evil spirits might gather like vultures gather to, to uh, a dead body. Evil spirits might attach to the fallen sarks that needs to be healed through inner healing. So if they don't come out easily, we may engage in inner healing to cut the rug out from underneath them, but then we still have to drive the demons out. And the idea that they'll just drift away, float away when we do enough inner healing, this is also a fallacy. It's urban legend, but it's, it's widespread and, and it needs to be corrected. Otherwise, what will end up happening is people will all revert to just doing inner healing. And I'll tell you a story about a good friend of mine who doesn't live in this state, but I was, um, I was at her home with her husband uh, a couple years ago, and she, um, <clears throat> she'd been in a meeting 20 years before. And somebody had given a word about an area of her life where there was some sarks, some fallen uh, flesh or broken flesh. And so she'd gone through some inner healing, but nobody ever drove the demons out. And I was talking with the husband about things, and he mentioned his wife. And he said, you know, she always has this issue. And he said, do you think that could be an evil spirit? I said, it's almost certainly an evil spirit. He said, but she got some inner healing for it 20 years ago. So I said, well, bring her into the office. We're meeting in his office. So she comes in, and we talk about it a little bit. And I said, did you ever get deliverance from that? She goes, no, they just told me that you know, all I needed was inner healing. I said, look me in the eye. And I said, by the way, get the trash can. So they brought the trash can over in front of her. And she looks me in the eye, and I said, I command that spirit. You've been hiding in there 20 years. Come out. And man, she ralphed. But you know what? She got free. She got free. When deliverance is what you need, nothing else will do. No amount of inner healing, no amount of Bible study, no amount of scripture memory, no amount of communion taking, no amount of baptism, none of it will substitute for a good, simple come out in Jesus' name. 